Wake Up Nights, broadcasting live from Academy Park World News Headquarters. It is time for Nightline News, the most trusted and revered name in third block news. Good morning, Knights. I am Amadou, and today is Monday, April 23rd, and it's day one. Today, there will be a high of 69 degrees with a low of 45, and is expected to be partly cloudy. And as on eight, what are some of the things happening here at AP that students should know about? Thank you for asking, Amadou. Congratulations to AP Slam team, who made history Friday night. The team won its first slam in its rookie season. Performing for the Knights were Antonia Yugachuku, Destiny Iare, Lamont Ayers Henry, Nadia Scott Robinson, Kayla McCann, and Trey Whitfield. The team's next competition is this Wednesday, April 25th, and an in-house exam will be held at AP on Wednesday, May 9th, from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. The cost to get in is $2. Are you interested in performing? All poems must be reviewed by Friday, May 4th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Sacrenti or Ms. Jetter. Pennies for patience. Interact club members will be coming around each week until the middle of May to collect your pennies. So remember to donate. All money goes to Leukemia and Lymphomia Society. Seniors. Any senior who is going to college and majoring in education, please see Mrs. Kaiser and guidance ASAP. Senior, senior prom tickets are on sale. Senior dues must be paid in full before purchasing a prom ticket. See Mrs. Kuza in the library. In addition, seniors, if you're interested in the Briarcliff Sons of American Legion Post 761 essay scholarship contest, please see your counselor for details. The deadline is May 18th. You must be a Derby Township resident to qualify. Please follow the guidance department on social media for updates and scholarship information. Facebook Academy Park Guidance Office, APHS underscore guidance underscore office is Instagram. And now here is Imani with your sports announcements. Thank you, Zane. Today, Boys Varsity and JV Baseball plays Pinwood away at Curfield. Game begins at 345. Girls Varsity and JV Lacrosse play Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendy away. Game begins at 345. Boys Varsity tennis plays Chichester away. Match begins at 345. Girls Varsity and JV Softball plays Upper Moreland away. Game begins at 345. Clubs. Community Garden Club will meet in room 210 after school today. Knitting Club, room 247. Darts Club, room 345. Zumba Club, the gym. Board Games Club, room 330. Chess Club, room 206. Poetry Club, room 241. Photography Club, room 218. Running Club, room 343. Anime Club, room 346. Reading Olympics slash Books Club, the library. Tech Crew, room 217, otherwise known as the studio. And now, Nile News presents This Day in History. On this day, April 23rd in 1896, motion pictures premiered for the first time in New York City. In January of that year, the Vitascope film projector was designed by Charles Francis Jenkins and Thomas Artmatt. Artmatt then began working with Thomas Edison to manufacture the projector. In April of that year, Edison and Artmatt's Vitascope was used to project motion pictures and public screenings in New York City for the first time. <laughs> Today is also Talk Line Shakespeare's Day. So if someone oversteps or does something that causes offense, refrain from reacting the way you otherwise might and maybe try something along the lines of, excuse me, but you stepped on my foot, you spleeny beef with a measle, or... Can I have my phone back, you puking on your eye minnow? Or stay out my business, you beslubbering, earth vexing horn beef. It's up to you. Or maybe just relax and read a sonnet. From everyone on Not Line News, I'm Amadou. I'm Imani. And I'm Zane. Have a great day. Keep those electronics out of sight and those things visible. I remember Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe once said All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. Have a great day, night, and keep on dreaming.